Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. In the previous episode we got around and opened up some locked doors where we got some nifty gear. Um, we also started coming here to the Holy Sanctum. Where, well, Jorontius asked us to get the transmutation table so we can create a cure for L, who is afflicted with the same disease that, well, Ilias' victims uh, were afflicted with. So let's continue because I'm also getting enemies on my roof right now. Jeez! Guess my uh, ring of criticality is charged up again. These are gold golems! They leave behind gold. They are not new for this area, I, I have to say. In Dragon Quest 1, they also appeared in this area to roam about. And gold golems were really good for getting a lot of gold, a lot of money. Let's see. Oh, it seems my uh, ring of criticality has been discharged again. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Uh, I'm not going to Yggdrasil just yet because right around the corner here we have something special and that is the final of Thalamus's uh, puzzles Okay, so we have to present the proof that we actually did those puzzles. Uh, let's clean up a little bit. So, we need the white, red and blue block. Um, so, let's see which one goes where. Oh, the first island. Riddle of the Twins was that room that you had to make identical, the two rooms. And that was the white block, so we have to place the white block here. The blue teleportal, as in the prickly wilds, where we... Well, it wasn't actually a evolution, but more the riddle of growth on how trees would grow. And there we got the blue block. So the blue block has to be placed in here. The final one, that's the red block, has to be placed here. And that was... Well, we had some blocks that looked like a clock and... We had to make 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So, let's place, if you place the correct block, you get this quite, or rather, very satisfying uh, chime and highlight. If you place the wrong block, you don't get it. So you can brute force this. Don't worry, if you place the wrong block, you can always get it back. So yeah, you can pretty much brute force this. You don't have to read whatever on those markers or on those signs. And as a prize for solving all of Thalamus' puzzles, we, well, we finish a chapter challenge. Because that's a chapter challenge, all of the puzzles. But we also get 
a note in a chest. Ooh, a nice reward. We learn how to make the Catholicon ring. No, that this is how to make the recipe. How to make it ourselves, not how to make the ring. We don't get the ring. But as you can see, it protects against all status ailments. By the, it's not that long ago that we actually got the necessary materials to make the ring of immunity. Not that long ago, it was necessary materials that we got to make the ring of... What was it? The full moon ring. That protects against paralysis. We did have the ring of clarity. We got that. And we've used it a lot uh, to, for, uh, against more scare, uh, scare wolves. That one was useful, but the other two were not. Because now we immediately get a ring that outclasses those three rings together. You don't have to choose anymore which ra uh, ra status ailment you want to guard against. And that's why I think it would have been better if we just gotten the ring of immunity. If we gotten the ring, uh, the full moon ring, as a prize for solving, figuring out how to fight against, well, those paralysis and against poison. And you would probably say, yeah, but then the antidote and the tingle tablets and the befuddle drops and all that are pointless. No, it wasn't. We actually had to heal NPCs with those items. You still needed to create them. And as you will see, for the recipe, all those recipes are also needed as materials to create the Catholicon ring. So it's not that pointless, those recipes. Okay, ah, oh, come on. I'm getting overwhelmed by enemies while my notes say don't fight all of them because you're just getting way too overwhelmed I still stop to fight all of them oh boy I actually should fight the green uh, things uh, gold is no longer necessary so if you don't mind I'm getting out of here Silver could be useful because you still, well, gold ne is needed for the... This is Yggdrasil and we've got a building with a locked door. So let's grab a key, shall we? And then we can do this and... Okay. Oh! These are not killer pillars, these are iller pillars. They are just a higher level uh, of the same enemy, but uh, guess what? They fall just as fast for the Falcon Blade as the other ones do. What do we get? We get... Please don't... Please don't... Let's get out of here. Seriously? Okay, now let's go to Yggdrasil. Well, this used to be a big tree. It seems to have... Uh... Oh. Never mind, I'm looking at the clock and I think it's better to go to bed first. I'm back now. Back with the Yggdrasil tree. In Dragon Quest 1, this was the place where, well, there was a holy sanctum. And I have to say, this still looks an interesting place because 
all that purple grass here and purple water and there is still a little bit of life left here that just shows that there is still life in the, this Yggdrasil tree even though it seemed to have been torn down a lot and that's really beautiful I have to say the purple rain probably doesn't do any good but yeah um, as I said in Dragon Quest 1 this place had a sanctum in here which pretty much where you got the rainbow drop that sanctum is still a little bit present as this tree is still hollow and we can find a bathtub in this place and a window um, of course I have way, way too much crap in my item bar again so the, the bathtub this is the only bathtub that you can find in this chapter I've heard, uh, had people ask me where where can you find the bathtubs in uh, chapter one well the little golems drop them but I find it easier to have the villagers make them for me because those little golems don't drop them that often at least I have heard that they drop it I've never seen it that they drop it but the reason that, that I was asked to have uh, where the bathtub was or where you could get was because they wanted to make a specific room called the bathroom for that room you need three bathtubs and three wash tubs this is the only chapter to get wash tubs so you can get three wash tubs but this is the only bath for as far as I know own the bathroom itself is only for Terra Incognita it's an exclusive room there because you never get enough bathtubs and enough wash tubs to well make that room so let's climb up and let's see what this oh there's a dude over there but hey there's something inside here as well oh how pre this is the kind of details I really like there is even a small patch of tilled soil with potatoes on it they didn't have to do this this could have just been a hollow tree with some bark here it's not really uh, often that you see people come here anyways but still they put in a little patch of potatoes as if it is a farm here that's such a nice detail okay so now it's time to start talking to the dude uh, where are you there you are Oh, you are Ptolemus, so you're still alive? Uh, what do you mean, can't see me? What did you mean by that? Yeah, I'm uh, here for... Uh, I'm the Builder, at least everyone calls me the Legendary Builder. Well, maybe a cure for the blight. Okay. Hey, who knows? Uh, maybe after I'm done with the remolder, I can build a holy sanctum here again. Shouldn't be that difficult to put up a uh, building here. And I wish 
Yeah, okay, this tree, how fast did, how quickly did it grow actually? But there is not really much left yet. With it, Husk, I know. I saw that and I thought, for a tree, it lacks something at the top. The humans! Oh, it wasn't the Dragon Lord that killed the Yggdrasil. It were the humans. Well, actually, I would like to get a cure for a friend of mine, so... And I need to uh, know how to make a transmutation table. Yep. Um, that's a task that I choose for myself. It has nothing to do with Rubus. Okay, can you tell me where I can find this holy ark as well? The last crop. Well, keys are not a problem. I can make keys that open any lock. Okay. Well, hey, come to Remoldar and uh, live along with the rest of us. Ah! Where did he go? Well, I learned how to make a transmutation table. But where did he go? Was he a ghost? And is this his grave? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, yes. Oof. Oof. Um, okay. Yeah, this is pretty much what's left of Yggdrasil. It's so sad that actually it was the life-giving juice that kept the humans alive. But there were so many li uh, humans that it was that the dragon lord actually didn't need to do anything the humans them what the heck is over there is that a dragon skeleton okay sorry yeah but it actually killed Yggdrasil um in dragon quest 1 you never had a Yggdrasil like i said there was a sanctum here a holy sanctum where you could get a rainbow drop. In Dragon Quest 2 was the first game where Yggdrasil was actually introduced, or the World Tree. Because in Dragon Quest 2 the world Alfgard was actually a tiny one of the many nations in this uh, place. What do I see in the distance? Did I see a metal slime? I saw a metal slime, didn't I? Yeah, I saw a metal slime. Yes, I saw a metal slime. Okay, uh, continuing my story. Yggdrasil was just introduced there. And Alfgard was one of the many nations. In Alfgard, in this position, there was still that holy sanctum. However... There was also a Yggdrasil, way south, in a different land from Alfgard. The heroes from Dragon Quest II actually needed to go there to get a leaf from the World Tree in order to also save one of their comrades. Just like we are now doing with L, we have to get something from the World Tree to save one of our comrades 
That's such a really nice parallel. Um, in mythology, however, Yggdrasil actually comes from Norse mythology. It's called the World Tree, and where Midgar, Valhalla, Asgard, and everything uh, live on different places, on different branches of the World Tree. And yeah, you may have see, heard about it, seen about it, uh, if you have seen Thor movies or something, or anything else Viking related. Now, I am going to slay a uh, metal slime and then return to Remoldar. What the heck? I actually never killed a metal slime with the ring of criticality. And it takes it out with one shot if you have a critical? Heck yeah! Oh, by the way, uh, to get the transmutation table, you don't have to do Telemus's puzzles first. He will be cooperative nonetheless anyway. The, and the puzzles are a chapter challenge, not story progression. Uh, Gerontius? Oh yeah, he hasn't revealed that just... Yes? Did he? Ah, actually, he did. Or didn't he? Ah, that's so difficult to keep it all together. Eh, family, what do you do about it? No, you're not. You're not foolish. To sa want to save your family is pretty normal. That's what love for family is all about. To keep each other safe. Uh, wait. My notes say that you should be coming with a defender. Uh, Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I am uh, looking different at my notes. Oops. But we learned how to make the Divine Draught, and that's a little bit close, Jorantius. Yep. That shall we do. A oh, hollyhock. Yeah. Uh, Thalamus said he had uh, locked one away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get it. <laughs> that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. Okay. Well, now we need to get ourselves some hollyhock. Of course, yeah, there is... Uh, we can do something. But let's make that table first, shall we? What do I need for the transmutation table? That's over there. I need more liquid silver and a herbalist cauldron. Just a moment!
because I need to run all the way to the other side of town. <laughs> I never thought I would say that in this uh, <laughs> in this uh, time. Oh, I can also now well make liquid silver. That's a good idea. Wait, where is my... Oh yeah, I need the other table. First. Adds an empty room. Also, I am going to remove these bits. Because I am going to need the space. You might not think like it, think of it, but... Uh, ooh, I am going to need the space. I'm even thinking I might need to make this entire... Thing a lot larger. Because the transmutation table is four by three large. This thing is even bigger than the extravagant table. And that was already a big boy. This barely fits. This barely fits. Wow. Um, I already made it once. Um, just a little moment. Uh, went to the wrong direction. A alchemist laboratory requires a transmutation table, a chest, two pots, a table and a light source. Pretty much is the same as the herbalist workshop, except the herbalist cauldron is exchanged for the transmutation table. There's no other difference. It is an upgrade as it has more points. And healing items are 50% effective against the 25% that it was before. So yeah, it's really worthwhile to make this. Because, well, more effective healing items is always better. And now that I have this, I can make the holy... Oh... Uh, I need five of them. But Talamus only had one, so we need to find more after this. Ooh, that's gonna be something. But with this, oh, I can make the Catholicon ring now as well. And this is where you need the Defuddle Drops, Tingle Tablet, and Antidotal Herb as well. Just as much as we need. Silver and gold. But it's worth all of it. So now with that having done. Uh, equipment. Oh, I was running around in my training talks again. Oops. The Ring of Clarity. Didn't I make any of the others? I guess I didn't. Just a little moment then. Because I can remove this all. I don't need that. Yeah, let's leave this for a bit. Let's make... Ring of Immunity. I can finally make that as well. After I make the Ring of Clarity or, or Catholicon Ring. I need more Tingle Tablet. Luckily I have enough card. Now I can make a Full Moon Ring. With the Liquid Silver. Yeah. I just now made those. I could have made them a little bit earlier, but these three rings are pretty much now obsolete, as I said earlier. Um, 
I am gonna... Oh yeah. Equipment. This one. And wear this, because immunity to all those status ailments is just so good. Let's grab me that holy hog and then figure out where we can find more of it because I need five. I need five holy hog. Ugh. Um, I'll see you back at Yggdrasil. We need to be somewhere around that place. Well, I'm back at the Yggdrasil entrance and this time we need to go up there. We need to climb the mountain. So let's see where... Well, probably... Yeah, that was a dragon skeleton. Let's... Oh, I can just jump over here. But the th nicest thing is... We... Well, if we look at the quest marker... It goes back that direction. However, where we need to start up is actually find this entrance to this cave. This is the place where we actually need to go. And to enter, because this is the, where the vault to the Hollyhock is. Ouch. Luckily I have Featherfall footwear. And... Well, this is also where... Where do I have my key? My final key. And to be honest... This vault door is not the worst part of it. The worst part is... That thing over there. There are three ways to tackle this challenge. One, you just run up. And either shovel or axe or use the... Use the... Your... Well... Sword to grab the hollyhock. Another way is, okay, I am gonna remove this one and then place this thing. Another way is to have your ballistas with you. If you place them, you can use it to shoot it from a distance. He will not walk towards you. So, yeah, you can just take pot shots at him. That is going to take long. Equipment. I have my ring of criticality. Well, I'm gonna do it without and then use the strength ring. Let's see how good my luck is. I am gonna use the Falcon Blade. And I don't get much in the way of criticals, but yeah, this dragon goes down like nothing. With it, we earn a dragon scale which increases our defense it's nice but i'm not gonna really use it for anything in this chapter more or less i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do this and then this it was a poisonous dragon so if he would have hit me i would have suffered po from poisoning uh you know what you know what? I still need some sconces. And it's getting nighttime. Ugh. This is how they get these caves better lit. Really, a lot of light and lanterns all around. And I think there's also an ambient. Lighting still in here, but you don't get that with the rooms if you put roofs under over it eh, That should be sufficient. So let's get 
outside. We got our Hollyhock, but uh, yeah. Oh, he's a bit asleep. Well, let's not wake him. Let's get to bed ourselves. Okay, Drontius. Are you coming outside? Yes, you are coming outside. Yes, I find the Hollyhock. <laughs> of course not. No, I have to figure out how to get some uh, more Hollyhock. You know what no what I noticed? Ooh. Hey, shouldn't that be a defended town? I can make a hollyhock seed. That is something I noticed. If you shovel X or uh, with a sword, the result is always the same. You get the crop. And therefore it is the same as wheat, as butter beans and everything. You cannot place it back on the ground. You will have to create a seed. Uh, you have something to say? Shouldn't this be a defended town mission now? That's gonna be something that also shows again how farming is a really uh, central theme in this uh, chapter. Plagues, farming, everything like that. Shall do! But first up, I need to make hollyhock seeds. For one hollyhock, I get two seeds. That's less than what, what I got for wheat. You know what I'm also interested in is... What do you have you guys... You made me... Wait, what? Wait, what? What? You make bathtubs? I thought you had a stonemason station needed for that one. But you guys make bathtubs? Does that mean I can actually get... Three bathtubs? I was completely wrong! I thought you couldn't make a bathroom at all in this chapter that that was exclusive to well how do I say it to terra incognita but no there are bathtubs in here they are making bathtubs so that means I can make if they can make another bathtub for me if I wait long enough and or maybe kill enough enemies I don't know what triggers it um, and then have three wash tubs I can pretty much make a bathroom in this chapter damn it I don't have enough space I don't have enough space 
And I don't want to go vertically. Oh, that's so sad. I don't have enough space. Because that room is already reserved for something else. Ah, oh, Crappy. Well, let's plant the hollyhocks. Hollyhocks actually function the same as uh, the, what I said the previously, the wheat and all the other crops. If I were to go and, well, harvest them now, I would get one hollyhock for each of them. Then I could turn them into seeds, so I would have four hollyhocks. Is that right? No, I get two hollyhocks for each of them, I think. Yeah, it's two hollyhocks, I think. Well, it doesn't matter because if you wait another day... Okay, that sneaks room. The hollyhocks are grown bigger. Lots and lots bigger. Oh, these guys are big boys. These guys are big boys. And by doing so, I obtain 10. I already have more than enough to create the divine drought. And still have left over to create more seeds. What am I missing? Oh, liquid silver, of course. I was almost thinking I have to go out and harvest something. Okay, I have the divine drought once and now I build the rest up to make seeds. That's so easy. Well, L, you can still wait for a little bit as I plant these seeds. Of the hollyhocks and this is what I was actually planning this row for so yeah I have now all the crops that I can plant in this indoor allotment <laughs> and you you needed this that was a divine draught a cure my dear Well, yeah, because I wasn't planning on giving up hope. Ilias had the problem of not being able to create and therefore fall victim to the Dragon Lord. But that's not something I was struggling with. Ew. on that one just like every other now she needs a little bit rest until morning oh Gerontius you have something to say yes she is saved well she is your granddaughter and you love her a lot so I can figure out how much it means And once more, that really nice detail of him just sinking to his knees of pure emotion. 
They can't make that big of expressive faces, but at least the body language in this game is awesome. It's really uh, done well. You didn't forsake him. You knew what he was doing was something wrong. And you could have hammered on him, but then you would have only fallen victim to his, well, folly. I won't say atrocities, because he was just driven to do something good, but it got corrupted instead. Yeah, that was the only thing left at that point. No, you weren't. It took you our, our encounter. Someone that could actually create. Someone that could do something that you could not. Someone to, that could bring a area here where you once more got the ability to create yourself. That means a lot. Hey! What's wrong with my face? Sure, definitely. Okay. And we got another seed of life. Ugh. must have been the East Condor and I don't like that uh, icon but yeah now it's just a time to rest and to go to bed okay yeah And with that, L gets up and goes back to work. Cl oh, she's cleaning off the, the bed that she actually slept in. How nice! With this, I also come to the end of this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like behind if you did. Leave a, di a dislike behind if you didn't. But I would also like to hear from you, uh, well, get some feedback on how I could maybe improve future videos. I thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye!